Hello, I'm Kathy Evanoff, and I'm the community newspapers editor and garden columnist for the Tribune Chronicle. And today I'm going to be making a bre breakfast strata. Um, this recipe came from a hometown cookbook from the United Methodist Women of Newton Falls. And um, some of the best recipes that we can find nowadays are in our hometown cookbooks where the local organizations get together, put it together their recipes, and make a fundraising cookbook. These recipes came from their families, through their generations, and these are favorite um, feel-good food that they have made for their families over the years. So this recipe will start by browning one pound of breakfast sausage. Now you can also use ham in this recipe and if you do you want to dice the ham before you get started but you don't have to pre-cook it. But with the breakfast sausage you do want to get it um, a little bit brown before you put it in. So I've done that here in this pan with this, with this sausage. So now I'm going to turn it off and the first thing though to get the recipe started is to take a 9 by 13 pan and you want to put a little bit of cooking spray in it. Um, you can use oil or anything else that you prefer to grease up the bottom of the pan so that your strata doesn't stick. You're going to start out with a layer of bread. There's a lot of different ways to use your bread and there's a lot of different breads that you can use. It's basically your recipe so it's your choice. I've chosen Italian bread, a soft Italian bread for this recipe, but you can use a potato bread, you can use a, a crunchy um, chipotle bread or even a whole wheat bread, although a whole wheat tends to overwhelm the flavors, but if that's what you prefer, then by all means do what you want. You can take the bread, if you like, and you can just lay it flat in the bottom of the, um, the baking dish, but I like to cube mine. You can also just rip it into pieces if you prefer. But one of my favorite things to do is to cut bread. So I like to cut it into cubes, which doesn't take too long. And I use 10 slices of bread in this recipe. And that seems like a lot but it's going to really soak up our strata egg mixture and that'll make it nice. Then you're going to just put the bread in the bottom of your baking dish. And these are large eggs. One of the things I like about this recipe is it can be lightened if you want to make it um, a little lighter for your diet you can use an egg substitute for part of your eggs and um, you can also use um, I, you can see I have cheese up here you can use a low fat cheese or a fat free cheese and you can use a uh, skim milk also just getting them all mixed up and then you just throw everything in what I have going in are three cups of milk and that blends with the eggs and I like to add a vegetable to my breakfast strata to make it a little healthier um, some recipes have called for chopped broccoli some you can add mushrooms uh, scallions onions anything you you want this time I'm going to add green peppers now these green peppers are nice and chopped um, there's something that we keep in our freezer all the time at home because my husband likes to have chopped green peppers on hand to mix with his scrambled eggs in the morning for breakfast. So coming up with the green peppers was pretty easy. And then two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. I like sharp cheddar, but you can add Colby, any taco cheese, anything that you want to flavor it any way you, you prefer. And then let's get rid of the whisk. So we're starting to grab onto some of our ingredients. And uh, we'll go, oh, here's the spoon. We'll go ahead and add our sausage. And you have a nice custard here with your vegetables. And it's going to be a savory dish. It's not going to be a sweet dessert like you would think of custard 
but, it, but it's going to be more savory and it's going to be a nice breakfast. Now you just add the entire thing to your bread mixture. Just pile everything in there. And I like to take the spoon and press it all down and let the egg and milk juices rise to the top. Kind of spread this out a little bit. But get it nice and, and mixed in. And the bread will soak up all of that egg and milk and, and the flavors from the peppers. And the cheese will all melt down into it. It'll be wonderful. Cover it with aluminum foil. Now the thing you want to remember with this dish is you have to let it chill at least eight hours and possibly overnight in your refrigerator. Um, it's perfect for making the night before, especially if you're having a big holiday breakfast or you have company and, and you want to serve them a nice breakfast. It's also nice for a brunch. If you want to make it for a main dish, um, you can make it in the morning and chill it all day while you're at work and then come home and, and bake it in the evening. It has to bake in a 350 degree oven for 90 minutes. And the last 20 minutes of baking, you want to take the aluminum foil cover off and just let it get nice and, and browned on top. I have one that's already been baked. And as you can see, the mixture has set up quite nicely. And you know when it's, it's done, when you stick a knife in the center and it comes out clean. Now your knife might be a little bit moist, but don't worry about that as long as the egg mixture is, is cooked. It will continue to cook a little bit after it comes out of the oven. And it will be nice and set. You can cut into it into, um, into squares. Serve it up on a nice plate. And there's breakfast. <laughs>